Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Jubba the Nubs Gang playing some more Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, it's been a while. I've been trying to get out some Hunt Showdown videos. If you guys are interested in that, we do have a playlist. Uh, but we're back here today to talk with Natty. It's been a long time since we've done something with her. I think we need to... Uh... Hello, dude? I think we need to talk to her mom in the Dimnations classroom. I, I thought I remembered her last name, so it looks like her mom is actually the teacher of the Dimnation class. Um, but yeah, we're gonna see what happens. So frustrating. What's so frustrating? Why are you guys not in the classroom too? I mean, I know it's annoying to walk up there, but still. Look out! You wanted to speak with me, mother? I had hoped to speak with you alone, Natsai. I can leave. Your message mentioned your concern about an unusual creature that was spotted in the woods near Hogsmeade. That could have been anything. You know what it was, Natsai. I am allowed to leave the castle. I am always careful, mother. Careful? Officer Singer disagrees. She sent me an owl telling me that you have been trying to collect evidence of some kind against dark wizards. It's true. She berated me for not keeping a closer eye on you. And she is right. I do not want you visiting Hogsmeade for the near future. But mother! My little gazelle, you are well-intentioned, but you must not meddle in the affairs of dangerous people. If someone had meddled in Matebeleland, father would still be with us. Oh. I must get to class. Perhaps your friend can get you to listen to reason. Yeah, I don't think we're really so changing our mind. She never listens to me. She called you her little gazelle. Is that a term of endearment where you're from? It is specific to me. <sighs> I am the unusual creature in Hogsmeade she mentioned. Self-transfiguration is not taught at Hogwarts, so I am gently discouraged from practicing it. However, I am an animagus. Interesting. And it is in my gazelle form that I have been able to wander the highlands rather freely until now. Much to my mother's chagrin. That is how I managed to spy on Rookwood and Harlow. And you didn't want to tell us this until now? Were you born an Animagus? Or did you learn to become one? Animagi are not born. The process is quite elaborate. It involves holding a mandrake leaf in one's mouth for an entire month. What? Then placing the leaf in a crystal file so that it is imbued with moonlight. Then adding one of your own hairs. And that is just the beginning. Self-transfiguration is common among students at Wagadu. But Professor Weasley considers it much too dangerous to teach at Hogwarts. Of course she does. She never lets us do anything around here. Can you choose what form your Animagus will take? Oh no. A person's Animagus form is determined by their personality. My mother is convinced that my form is a gazelle because I adapt well to any situation. I believe it is because I can sense danger and keep my wits about me. Maybe you're just really fast. Have you ever thought about that? How does it feel to transform into an animal? Well, the first time it can be a bit unnerving. I felt a kind of searing pain and a strong double heartbeat. But it gets easier the more you do it. I no longer feel any pain and I must say, I find a sense of comfort in the double heartbeat. And I love being able to view the world from a different perspective. You probably have less rods and cones in your eyes so you don't see as many beautiful colors. Now the nickname makes sense. What an extraordinary ability <laughs> Jack to is an idiot. It oh is. my gosh. I love transforming, but Mother is less enthusiastic about it. She says that no creature especially one as rare as a gazelle, should be bounding about where poaching has become so prevalent. That's fair. <sighs> she claims that she has foreseen tragedy befall me in my gazelle form. But she has used her sight to control me too many times. I no longer believe it. Hmm. Well, I mean, we need to figure out one way or the other. We might as well have her come with us. We're making good progress. I don't think we, we could convince her now. anyways. I agree. I have never considered quitting, even for a moment. You could have fled the moment you discovered that Rookwood, Harlow, and Randrock were after you, but you did not. I choose to act as you have. I must deal with Rookwood and Harlow, not hide from them. <sighs> My mother cannot know where I am all the time. 
I'm sure Thank she can. Thank you for being here during that rather awkward conversation. She's got those weird crystal balls. I don't really know how far her sight is with those things. Is that the end of that? I thought we were going to do something. Really? We were just there to talk to her? That is lame. I'm sure that um, Natty will get back to us to continue this quest line, but I do see that there is a side quest here uh, from a student just outside, so I'm going to talk to her and or him. I don't know who it is. And uh, see if I can not help them out. It's been a while since we've done some Hogwarts side quest missions. I can't wait to get out of winter, though, so I should probably do some more main missions to get into spring. I really have made a mess of things. I don't think I've ever talked to this lady before. Cursida? Bloom? Is everything all right? Oh, hello. Thank you for asking. I'm Cressida, by the way. Cressida. And I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. Mm. You see, I'm fond of creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation. Because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. But your books turned into birds? That sounds brilliant, actually. Thank you. Somehow I don't think the librarian will see it that way. I collect the books and remove the charm myself. Except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books <laughs> flying around. It's a tattletale. So she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. I feel like librarians are always suspicious of anyone. Why did Army tell Madame Scribner that they were your books? Oh, to be perfectly honest, I don't think he meant any harm. I think he was impressed, bragging on my behalf. Amit spends a lot of time gazing at the stars, but he knows a good charm when he sees one. Yeah, he doesn't know gobbledygook that well, though. I suppose I could help, if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. Hmm. What well, I have a feeling that in her diary she says something about Amit. She might be in love with him. The way she speaks of him. Maybe we're helping our boy out too. I'm going to have to use Akio. Got it. <laughs> Only four more to go. Yes, I'm faster than the instructions. Akio! Um... Is there a way for me? Do I have to like my Revelio it? Oh, here we go. I think I have to go upstairs. I would if I was in Hogwarts. I spend so much time in the library. This place is amazing. The librarian probably kills the vibe. Um. Nothing. Oh, oh, I see one. I see you. Come back. This is the first time I've been in the library, actually, in the day. It's much less creepy than it is in the night. Want to test your knowledge on some more Oh, absolutely questions. not. Thank you very much. I, I'm sorry. I don't have time for a quiz at the moment. Let me know if you change your mind. I will never change my mind. Thank you very much. I hate pop quizzes. Revelio. Accio. Come on. No, no, no. Don't just stand there, Jack. Come on. Move. What the heck? This must be Cressida's diary. Ah. I'd want this back too if I were her. Today was a good day, that is, until Gareth splashed whatever ridiculous concoction he was creating all over my perfectly stewed lacewing flies. Had to empty my entire cauldron to start all over again. He is such a menace, thinks he knows everything there is to know about potions. Always disrupting Professor Sharp's class with his experiments. I'm utterly convinced that if he wasn't Professor Weasley's nephew, he would have been expelled by now. 
Arboroth smokes again tonight for dinner. I'm becoming more partial to them now, although I still prefer meat pie. What a lame thing to write in a diary. I expected something more juicy. There it is. Boom. That's the last book. Now to take them back to Cressida. Cressida. Very interesting name you have. Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief. Thank you. I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. Hmm, perhaps for the right price. Uh, I'm not slithering enough to do that, though. There's nothing juicy in there anyways. Here you are. Well, lesson learned. I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime soon. Now, to work out where I went wrong. Perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. Or if you're going to experiment. Thank goodness some people are trustworthy. Certainly wouldn't want anyone but me reading my diary. <laughs> Who even says that out loud? Um, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, yeah, she should maybe not practice in the library next time when she's doing random magic things. All right, well, that went a lot quicker than I thought it was going to be. Let's go talk to Deke. Is some mission about a phoenix, I believe. Hello, Deke. Deke has some exciting news to share. And what is that? Hello, Deke. Professor Weasley said you had an idea. Indeed, Deke does. Uh, Deke knows that you want to learn about all sorts of beasts. And Deke recently heard rumors of a phoenix nest in a nearby mountain. A phoenix nest? I wonder if it belongs to the phoenix Natty mentioned. The one Harlow and the poacher pack are after. Deke would not doubt it. If Deke has heard of it, surely the nasty poachers have as well. Which means it could be in danger. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll get it. I've beat the poachers a million times. Well, I'd better go and rescue it then, hadn't I? Deke thinks so. So majestic a beast should not fall into such vile hands. Deke is not sure why, but Deke feels that saving a phoenix might help to make amends for what happened with Deke's prior master. Deke hopes that you are able to find the phoenix and bring it to the room where it will be safe. I just realized I have skulls on my scarf. It kind of ruins the decoration a little bit. All right, we got to search a cave. All right. Deke is making us going down all the way to the bottom of the map, which we haven't explored much of yet. Luckily, there's no snow here, so at least feels like we're out of winter for the time being. Man, this thing can take a beating. Okay. What the heck? That deer came out of nowhere. Okay. I had very little warning there. Yeah, trolls are becoming less and less of a problem these days. Once you get uh, your basic attack moves, you're good to go. Come on, throw your rock, man. It's so lame. Are you going to realize charging me is going to do nothing? Oh, well. I ate my words. Well, let's curse him. Oh, that is not what I wanted to do. Now he's going to fight for us. Hey, man, let's be friendly. We just pepper you in the back. Give you a nice little shoulder rub. That's really good. I can get some ancient magic here while well, he's turned around. Oh my gosh. That is a lot of damage when he's cursed. Bombarda. Glacius. Confringo. Uh. Dang it. Bombarda. 
Okay, I don't even know if we were supposed to fight him. I just realized we are supposed to go the other way. But you know what? The, uh, the forest creatures liked that little brawl. They were watching us. I don't know why there are so many creatures here. But there are quite a few. A blockade. Rookwood's poachers are already here. I mean, I don't know where you gathered that from just some wood. Maybe someone's saying don't enter here, you know? Hmm. So many options. Try to stealth this, maybe? Just imagine the whole blooming bird. Oh, should have stayed at the castle. Oh, yeah. What the heck? How'd you guys know us here? You ruined the trick. What have you done? Oh yeah. Every time I supervise someone I curse them, which is extremely useful. Dang, Jack's becoming quite powerful. One less poacher in the wizarding world. Yeah. Take him all out. I think they'd learn by now. Why is there so many poachers too? Like must be a good business. The question is, how far do we have to go in this cave to find a phoenix? And why is a phoenix in a cave? You know what I mean? Are they like really rare or something? <laughs> Gotta hide it from the world. Things can fly, can't they? We're keeping people out. Pay attention. More poachers. How many are there? Enough. Don't tell us here. I sense it. Do you? <laughs> Guys, thick as a brick. Dang, I might be able to sell this entire encounter. Boom, baby. Stealth is definitely the most powerful approach, um, but it's also kind of boring. Okay, why can't all locks be like that? Are you kidding me? A phoenix. Oh, he's kind of cute. How big is he? It almost seems as if it wants me to follow it. I need to find it before the poachers do. Something tell. Okay, the bird's already like free and he can fly. He could just fly himself out of this place. You know? I don't think he really needs us. Oh. Yeah. Glacis, Bombarda, Come to me. What the heck is he doing? Oh, at least give it a bit of effort. Come on, man. Don't try to talk Bombarda. smack to me. Oh, frick. Oh, frick, I'm gonna die. That's depressing. Hopefully that didn't put us too far back. I hope you... You there, Dang it. Uh, Trying to stealth him. Ah, man. It's out of my field of view. Oh, that was pretty epic finisher. Alohomora. Unidentified. Great. Probably means it's actually a decent thing of clothing. They're more powerful usually when I don't know what they are. There it is again. Hey man. What are you leading me to? Do you have young or something? You don't have young because when you die, you birth the next one. That's the whole point of it, Phoenix. So I am curious what you're leading me to. Yeah. 
That was definitely not worth it. I have so much wh hork lunk juice, I don't even know what to do with it. I don't really use potions that much. But I'm going to loot it if I can. Maybe I can create some potions and just sell it for a profit. But I'm already kind of rich. Money can't really buy you much in this game. What the heck? Who are you and why are you keep hitting it whip? Ow, dude. Jeez. Did he kill himself? He freaking killed himself. All right. I'll take it. I don't know why webs are unblockable, but that was unblockable for some reason. Glacius, Bombarda, Confringo. What the heck? Where did you come from? Glacius, Confringo. Oh, snap. What is... That is not supposed to be happening. I don't know if he's dead or stuck or what. what? He's stuck. All right. Um, okay. This a cave is glitched. I've never had a problem with glitches until this cave. There's a lot of guys. You know, every villain says that. You're not getting away this time. And what do you know? I get away. Every time. So when are you guys going to learn? Be a little more original. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it sure makes you think of coins. That's legit. That was for High Wing. What the heck are you talking about? High Wing's it's fine. It's shameful what you've done to helpless beasts. I mean, fair enough. But to be completely honest, we're kind of doing the same thing. <laughs> We've put them in their own captivity. It's perhaps a little bit better than a cage, but still. Only the guise of protecting them. Is there a point going in here? Revelio. Hmm. Confringo. Okay, there is a chest in this one. Oh, I got some ruins in a cave. That's very fitting. Okay. How do- oh, okay. I'm supposed to go this way, why can't I go in? Man, the Horlunk juice everywhere. And also, why is it called juice? Am I putting it in a blender? It looks like spiked mushroom caps to me. Am I squeezing the stalks? I don't know. Oh, this is a cool place. He's gonna land right. Th yep. Hello. I'm here to help. He's a male. Take you somewhere safe. Do I have to grab him? Hey, dude, come here. Wow. I didn't even have to press one button. It seems happy. Let's get you back to the room. Dick's so going to be pleased. Okay. So he brought me here just to see his nest? He could have just came in my bag in the very beginning if he didn't want to gonna put up a fight. I do not understand that. Stupid thing just wasted my time. Got things to do, I got homework. People. I like how we're just strutting here and he's waiting for us. We got him, man. Did you find the phoenix? Yes, Deke. And I rescued it from the poachers. I have it here. It's safe. 
Remarkable. Well, what are you waiting for? Deke cannot wait to... <laughs> we don't even wait for him to finish. We're just sick and tired of him. His own perch now? Or is there a new area to go to? What a beauty. You keep it close. Professor Weasley and Deke were right to tell you about the Room of Requirement. Look at all you've done, and how many beasts you've rescued. A phoenix is safe now, because of you. I couldn't have done it without your help, Deke. Thank you. Uh, Deke is grateful for the kind words, and also grateful to have been of assistance to someone like yourself. Helping you do such good for so many beasts has given Deke a sense of peace Deke hasn't known in years. Deke will always be here for you when you need him. We've won his undying loyalty. Even though all house elves have that for some reason. So where's this new phoenix thing? Okay, it's over here. Oh. Oh, the music is great. Hey, man. Okay. So I'm assuming we can only get one phoenix in the game. And this is him. Because I made a big deal about it. And they don't really mate since they just procreate through themselves when they die. I don't know. I don't know enough about beasts. Let's go talk to Natty. Uh, finish her quest line, maybe. I don't really remember what we're supposed to be doing here with Natty. I just remember that we talked to her about being a uh, gazelle. But I, I think it's about finding evidence or something against Rookwood. Are Here you ready is. to put an end to Harlow? Oh, yeah. I'm ready to do what's needed to take Harlow down. <laughs> I know you have a plan. We must gather information from the friends of Mr. Bickle that Archie and Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Agabus Filbert, Otto Dibble, and Mr. and Mrs. Rabe. All right. I suggest that you speak with each of them while I head to the Hogshead. I saw some Ashwinders heading there. And as my mother would never go near the Hogshead, she is less likely to learn of my activities than if I were to wander the village questioning its residents. That's a really convenient way of having me do all the work, wouldn't you say? What sort of information am I trying to gather from these people? They may know what evidence Mr. Bickle had against Harlow, or they may have evidence of their own. We simply need to know whatever they know. Where am I to find these friends of his? I do not know about Mr. Rib, but his wife, Daisy, is often in Hogsmeade, as is Agabus Filbert. And Otto Dibble, he works at Gladrags, so you will likely find him there. Very well. I'll speak with them, see what I can learn. I knew I could rely on you. We need to know how they are being blackmailed by Rookwood and Harlow. Meet me here after you have spoken with them. Hopefully, by the time you return, I will be able to move a bit more freely. Mm -hmm. Don't you think your mom's sleeping right now? Does she just never go to bed? And why are there so many people out? It's late. Is she in the, uh... I think we found a faculty room. Oh, it's oh no, Co she's right here. What have I done? Mrs. Rabe, I wondered if I might speak with you about Theophilus Harlow. I'm a friend of the Bickles and I'm trying to gather evidence against him. Poor Joanna and little Archie. And now Harlow has taken my darling Isco. What do you mean? Why? <laughs> I'm a security guard at Gringotts and my husband is a curse breaker for them. Harlow approached me about helping him extort my colleagues into giving him treasures from the vaults. And you declined? Of course I declined. Repeatedly. I thought they'd given up until I came home one night and found my husband gone and a note affixed to my door with a knife. 
the note stated that I only had a few days to reconsider helping with some banking needs and that my husband would appreciate it if I acted quickly. But the help Harlow wants is help that I cannot give. And my dearest Isco is paying the price. What do they want exactly? Are you sure the note means that your husband was kidnapped? What else could it possibly mean? Besides, I came home to find that someone had trampled the daisies in our garden. It may sound silly, but those were Isco's pride and joy. He would never have let that happen. Have you helped Harlow since your husband was taken? No. I'm worried sick about Isco, but he'd never want me to compromise my integrity. I also know that he's extremely clever. That said, I was hoping he would have escaped by now. It makes me concerned as to why he hasn't. Why wouldn't Harlow extort your husband? Isco's job is even more removed from the vaults than mine. He travels the world for the bank. He could do nothing for Harlow. I'm the one in the bank on a daily basis, which evidently makes me an enticing target for blackmail. Thank you, Mrs. Rabe. Knowing the lengths that Harlow will go to is helpful, albeit more than disturbing. Mr. Bickle was trying to help us, but now he's gone. I don't know what to do. I shall do all I can to get evidence against Harlow, Mrs. Rabe. Very well. Here's the note I received. You must be careful as well. Please don't put yourself in danger. Why would you give me the note if you don't expect me to put myself in danger? Mrs. Rabe, we do hope you will reconsider helping us with our banking needs. We've given you ample time to reach a decision on your own, but we are beginning to lose our patience. We know your husband would appreciate it if you were to see the value in working together. Shall we expect a response by week's end? Best to keep this between us, if you understand our meaning. Some evidence worth hanging on to. Thank you. Oh, I hope it's not too late. Well, uh, now to find Mr. Bickles. How long two friends. has her husband been gone? A couple days, he might be dead. Also, no one signed that, so we don't really have any proof that, you know, Harlow sent the note. I don't really know if that's considered evidence. Also, Dibble works at Gladrax. I should check there. Please tell me you didn't take it, but perhaps it's been here all along. What are you talking about? Mr. Dibble, may I speak with you? It's about Theophilus Harlow. I have nothing to say about him. Uh, may I interest you in a stunning cravat today? Please, sir. I'd like to help. I spoke to Mrs. Bickle. <laughs> you know the Bickles? Mm, all right. But we must be discreet. Can't have Mr. Hill hearing this. I know Mr. Hill. He was kind to me the day of the troll attack. Oh, he's a good man. But even he wouldn't understand about Harlow. It started a few weeks ago. I was distracted, reading a note when you know who came into the shop. I hid the note behind the counter and offered to help him. He stared at me for a moment, then asked me to check on an order he placed. I went into the storeroom to check on what turned out to be a non-existent order. When I returned, he was holding the note. What was in the note? It was a note from Rosie Hill, Mr. Hill's daughter. You see, we've been, well, secretly engaged these past six months. We haven't told Mr. Hill yet. I dare say he has higher hopes for her. Harlow <laughs> advised me in no uncertain terms that my relationship with Rosie, not to mention my employment here, depended upon my cooperation. What does he ask you to do? It all happened so quickly. In an instant, he took a very expensive scarf from the counter, pocketed it, and smiled. He said, your secret is safe as long as I can supply my lady friend with delightful items like this every so often. I've been able to cover for his requests until now with some creative bookkeeping, but I can't keep it out for much longer. I'm terrified to say anything. I could never live without Rosie. Hmm. Yeah, how are you hiding the extortion? What have you been doing to keep the extortion a secret? Well, as I mentioned, creative bookkeeping. And I've also been trying to cover the costs with my own okay. savings. Okay. Running out of money. That makes more sense. Of course, none of this bodes well for my efforts to improve my circumstances and to be worthy of Rosie. Yeah, you're definitely not worthy at this point. But, I mean, you're trying to protect her, so there's that. I met Mr. Hill the day of the troll attack. He was kind to me. Why don't you just tell him? 
He's a lovely man. But when it comes to Rosie, I fear he loses all perspective. He'd see this as a grave betrayal. I'd lose my job instantly, and Rosie as well. You never know, man. Could you give me a bit more detail about the note? That might help me to identify it should I come across it. It's on Rosie's special pink stationery. It has her monogram at the top, R.H. That's how Mr. Hill would know it was real. Hmm. Thank you for telling me. I'm gathering evidence to take Harlow down. I would love nothing more than to see him rotting in Azkaban, but be careful. He's an awful man and incredibly dangerous. As for Rosie's letter, should you happen upon it, I have committed it to memory. You may destroy it immediately. Understood. Now hurry off before Mr. Hill returns. Where was I? We're on the right track. <laughs> now to find the last of Mr. Bickle's friends. Hello there. Excuse me, Mr. Filbert. I wondered if I might speak with you about your dealings with Theophilus Harlow. I hope to ease Mrs. Bickle's mind by gathering evidence against him. Oh, tragic what happened to Bickle. He wanted me to speak out against Harlow for an act of violence committed against me. But I feared Harlow's retaliation, and so I refused. Hmm. You may have shared Mr. Bickle's fate if you had spoken out against Harlow as he requested. Unfortunately, I suspect you're right. You said that Harlow committed an act of violence against you. Could you tell me what happened? Before my extraordinary wife, Dulcibella, passed away, she had just completed a small book of poetry. As a surprise for her birthday, one she never had the chance to celebrate, I had the book beautifully bound and plated in gold. One day, Harlow came calling to punish me for having spoken out against the Neanderthals that comprise Brookwood's lot. Before I knew it, I'd been petrified, and Harlow was rifling through my home. He found the book of poetry, with its exquisite gold plating. I watched helplessly, lying there in my entranceway as he walked away with the book, laughing as he went. I was shaken to my core, still am, to be honest. I imagine you fear Harlow retaliating again, but do you mind if I share this information with Officer Singer? <sighs> I suppose I have no choice. This extortion can't go on forever. You can pass it on to anyone who may be willing to help. Harlow does not like people talking, as you already know. I've spoken with Mr. Bickle's friends. Now to find Natty. It's not like Natty to be late. She said she was going to the Hog's Head. Perhaps I'll find her there. Oh boy. She probably got herself in trouble by those Ashwinders. Now we have to go save her. <laughs> Or maybe she's a deer, or gazelle, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> yeah. Didn't even get my feet wet. Natty must be around here somewhere. I'm telling you, she's a deer, man. Oh my gosh, I was trying to jump on the boat, not dive. Hmm. The music is getting tense. What's going on? Gonna bust in the back here. Oh wait, what is this? Flowers? Daisies? Oh, Natty's wand. She can cast without it. She wanted me to find this. She's in trouble. Revelio will show me where she was taken. Revelio. Somebody with these daisies, right? Nosy little students get what's coming to them. <laughs> Say that to me again, punk. <laughs> what trail am I following? Oh. The footprints that look like dirt. Natty must have been taken this way. I need to find her quick. Didn't even realize there's a hideout in town. It's probably why it's called Footprints a hideout. Led to this room. Oh, obviously. Must be another way forward. Is he gonna open up, right? Akio. What? Bring it all the way until it clicks or something? 
Oh, that's exactly it. Thought I might have to freeze them or something in place. A hidden door. Natty must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. Let's finish this job and be done with it. Time, is it? I'd better be sure I'm not seen. Alright, we can fight our way out. Was it upper or lower, Oxfield, that we were? Yeah, nice little bar here. You are as dear to me as Augury, whose voice foretells the coming rain. Blah -de blah blah. I need to get the heck out of here. I'm being attacked. How do they see me? Let me just read my note in silence. Oh, yeah, that's what the other guy told me today, and he died. Actually, that guy, holy frick. Oh, okay. Guy's okay, got some lightning. I think I'm hitting other people when I hit him. Hey, lady, you want to fight for me? For You're on my side now. Oh, is she the only one left? Okay. Glacius, Never mind, you're dead. Got a little chest back here. Revelio. It's a lot of rats. I wonder how they get all this alcohol down here without anyone noticing. He must be here somewhere. Whoa! Friend won't come look places. Confringo. Expulsion. Protego. Dang it. Oh, you want to be lightning now? Is that what you're hinting at? And this guy is tanky. Holy cow, he's pretty big too. He's very big. Dude, if you're gonna try to attack me next time, don't give me a hint on what that attack is gonna be. Okay, so. Maybe that's your way out? Am I supposed to. Supposed to go in here. Can I talk to this dude? Mr. Rape. Daisy told me you've been abducted. Oh, he's alive. My wife. How is she? Worried about you. Are you all right? I am all right. Thank you for coming. These locks are cursed. And there's an anti-apparition jinx on the cells. Even Natty's skill with wandless magic cannot free us. I need you to find my wand. Use mine. We'll find yours together once you're out Wait, of there. Wait, hold I the phone. I need my wand for this. Using one with which I have no connection may not work as well or as quickly, and we cannot risk detection. I shall do my best. Any idea where it might be? It's nearby. I can sense it. That's helpful. Understood. I'll find it. There ain't no way I'm giving my wand to some stranger. Also, we, we have level three lock skill opening. Why can't we just open that? I'm pretty sure we're qualified. Oh, what the heck? 
Mr. Rabe's wand could be in there. Mr. Rabe's wand. He'll be glad to have this back. Uh, this is optional. I can find his love letter. Um, I'm good. Can't live without it. Mr. Rabe, I found your wand. Well done. I knew it was nearby. Now, you best stand back. One never knows how a curse will react to being broken. If he dies, I'm laughed so hard. <laughs> After all of this. Wow, that was very uneventful. So dangerous, man. Revelio. That was... Why couldn't thank I just you, do that? Mr. Isco. My pleasure. And thank you, my friend. We owe our lives to your bravery. I may be too weak to disapparate with you both, but I can try. You go ahead. Find Officer Singer. We will get out of here on our own. Very well. But be careful. Thank you, my young friends. Be prepared for a fight. These Ashwinders must pay. What? Why can't we just disappear too? Oh, yeah, yeah. This girl is becoming more and more of a nuisance. Natsai Onai. I should have known. And you, the troll dispatcher. Oh, thank goodness the two of you are safe. Isco Rabe told me a couple of students had rescued him. Should have known it was you too. Is Mr. Rabe all right? He is. I sent him home to his wife. Miss Onai, your mother will not be pleased to learn that you're still risking your safety pursuing these dangerous men. Actually, Officer Singer, Natty and I learned of several Hogsmeade residents who've had their lives threatened by the Ashbinders. In addition to abducting Mr. Rabe to blackmail his wife and Natty, Rookwood and Harlow have also extorted Agabus Filbert and Otto Dibble. Uh, I will look into all of that. As for the two of you, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but you are taking great risk. Next time, please let the authorities handle the Ashwinders. We didn't really have a choice. Nanny got herself kidnapped, so. Oh, how far are we feeling? Yeah, let's do it. With all due respect, officer, the authorities haven't done much about any of this. There's more to taking down an organization like the Ashwinders than simply storming in and hauling them off based on a few accusations. They kidnapped her! I must insist that you leave them to us. We shall have no further discussion on this. Will you do arrest me, lady? Bring it on. I'll escape. Natsai, you may wish to speak with your mother about this before I do. My mother will not like this. Thank you again for rescuing me. Yeah, exactly. We You're kidnapped. Soon. All right, well, on that note, I think I'm going to end it. If you like what you saw, ladies and gentlemen, and you want to see more content such as this, please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. But I shall see you in the next episode.